This is just one video of a multi-part course where I overview different animation software to determine which software is best for you. This is a free course and you can gain access on tunefiles.com and I also have premium courses that go deeper as well. I hope you learned something and enjoy. After Effects coupled with Duik and joysticks and sliders is a great combination if you're looking to work exclusively with an After Effects. By itself, After Effects is an amazing piece of software. It can do so many different things. There's all these scripts out there made by fans that extend the software, and it's become invaluable in my tool set when it comes to creating cartoons. Even if I'm not rigging with the software, I'm using those compositing abilities to enhance the look of my cartoons. And so the fact that you can just install Duik and add the functionality of bones and all that is just awesome. Now first, I want to point out that you can do character movements inside of After Effects with a tool called the Puppet Pin Tool. It comes default with After Effects. You don't have to install any scripts. And you can dive in, add anchor points to your limbs, and connect things together in a way where you can create basic character animation. Now, it's not my preferred way of working because the structure doesn't work quite how bones work. And so it can make the process of animating slower in the end because you have to accommodate for every single point that you place down. But it can work if you're looking to do something simple and easy and you just want some basic motion down and you don't want to spend the time going through the process of installing Duik. And I have a free course that covers how to use the Puppet Pin tool if you are curious about that. But Duik, once you install it, and again, it's free, will give you the ability to add bones and control points to a rig. And you can go so far as to anchor bones down so you can create realistic grounded movements. You can set up bones manually or you can auto rig. So if you know you want to create a human structure, you can just click that button and all the bones will appear. You move the bones into position and you are good to go. Just got to parent everything and it'll work. You can also set up four-legged creatures and really go so far as to even set up walk cycles within the script itself. I haven't explored that myself as I did the walk cycles outside of that script, but it is possible to achieve. So it does offer a lot, especially since it's free. Now, the one thing I need to mention, because I do mention joysticks and sliders, that's a separate script from Duik. And joysticks and sliders isn't free. I can't remember offhand how much it is. I want to say it's around $30. It might be 20 But it is a worthy investment if you're looking to use After Effects for your primary means of animation. Because you can set up control points which allow you to create head turns, blinks, different emotions with your mouth. You can adjust the eyebrows. You can change hand poses. Whatever you want to program with these things, you can do. And it's a great way to add just a little bit more control to your rig. And while $20 is nothing to sneeze at, I would argue that if you are investing in the Creative Cloud up to this point, I would say adding that extra 20 bucks to your budget will greatly enhance the ability to animate within the software. And on top of that, you have all of the niceties that After Effects brings, such as 3D workspaces, the ability to create cameras and lights, and the list just goes on and on and on. Again, After Effects is very expansive and has a lot to offer. So if you are curious about After Effects or you are an After Effects user looking to animate, I would definitely recommend you give Duik a shot. Again, I have a course that covers how to use Duik within After Effects. I show how to install it, how to rig a character, how to animate, and then we go and use joysticks and sliders alongside it as well. So if you're curious, be sure to check that out. After Effects, again, is a powerful piece of software, and you have other software in the Creative Cloud that comes with it, which is great because you can import character animator files along with videos or PNG sequences you may export from animate or whatever software that you are using in that moment it all works together very nicely with the adobe creative cloud and again after effects has so much to offer that it's 
almost ridiculous. So once you have the animation down, you have a compositing software as well as the ability to edit on a timeline and all of that. So it is really awesome when it comes to basically doing anything you need for an animation, except maybe for audio. I would save audio editing for Premiere and fine tuning certain edits is probably easier in Premiere as well. But again, you can import After Effects files straight into Premiere if you wish. And it's all connected and it works together and that is a really nice thing. So if you're an After Effects user or you are someone who is curious about animating in After Effects, I would definitely recommend you check out Duik. And again, I have a course on it in case you want to learn more.